hello and welcome to my channel today i'll show you how to make pine needle baskets using um, this thread this is the thread that a cobbler uses to mend shoes i literally went to one and asked him where he buys his thread and he showed me um, then i'll use the scissors you'll also need a scissors and something tube like and pine lots of pine needles I I got this tube that I have by transferring the thread that was on it to this other tube that is made of paper. The one I used is made of plastic. So what you do next, take your take some pine needles, arrange them well and place them in the tube you'll be using. It helps to keep the pine needles in a um, kind of arranged manner because without it it will be very difficult to tame the pines but you can still weave your basket without the tube begin by taking one string and tying a knot on it on the pine needles and then loop it around loop it around the pine needles up to about two inches and when you run out, when you feel the pine needles are getting lesser and lesser, you add, you add them. So you make sure to create tight loops so that the string stays in position. And when it gets to about two inches, you can stop. Then after that, you bend the the part of where you've been looping you bend it into two and then you sew it tightly together then make sure that you sew all the way up so that that space that is visible in the middle is no longer visible because this will be the bottom of your basket so this is how you create the base this is how you begin I'm not perfect. This is the first time I was doing this. So after you sew those that part together, you continue. You create another um, section of looping and looping string all around the pine needles. Still make that around two inches long. And after you've um, tied the string around it tightly and nicely you also fold that part and sew it to the other two parts another two inches of, of that then sew all the pieces together thrice or four times you can cut off that part that was sticking out the other end that is not in the tube just cut it out and then begin to create your basket 
after you create that part you will continue um, making the rest of the base when the pen needles are less you make sure that you add them and then pass the string on top of the needles then the needle you you punch it at the bottom and pull it out you pass the string on top of the pine needles and then you punch uh, the needle from below to close that part up and then you repeat the process and you'll finally turn out with something that looks like this That's basically what you'll keep doing for the base until you get to your desired circumference of the base of your basket. Just keep adding pine needles when they when you run out, not when you run out, when they become less in the tube. You keep adding them such that they fit snugly in the tube. So this will be the outside of my basket and this will be the inside of my basket. The outside looks better. I've reached my desired uh, circumference of the base of the basket. Uh, mine was 14 centimeters in diameter, as you can see. sewing the pine needles all the way around uh, because I was creating the base but now I'll pull the bunch of needles to lay on top of this outer one the very last one the circle part instead of continuing to sew with it going outside and put it on top you'll see because this will be the inner part I'm cutting off the pieces that are sticking out because it will be difficult to do when I've already built the walls of the baskets. So you pick
pick it up and then you place it on top of that last one and then you, be, you continue to sew the way you've been sewing put the thread above it then the needle you punch it beneath like that again you repeat the process the make sure the pine needles are on top of that last circle and then the thread pass it on top of the needles always position it on top and then the needle beneath and pull and for the walls that's all you need to do so you keep doing it until it reaches the height that you want I don't know if these pine needles are sold anywhere in Kenya. So if if you have um, pine needle access to pine needle trees, I think you can try this because it's simple and it's it's just something to do to pass time, I guess. And it's functional. The basket is functional. You can place your fruits there. It can act as a centerpiece or a decorative item on the wall so it's useful and it's fun to make it's fun to create things with your hands progress after some time so at some point during the weaving of the basket I changed the kind of stitch that I was using I was using a single stitch but then I started to make a V stitch you insert the needle pull it out and then you insert the needle back to the same hole you had inserted it in before then you pull it out and it will form a V I said this was my first time doing this and so <laughs> some of my these stitches came out looking very funny but anyway
the height I wanted for my basket. So these are final touches I'm doing to it. When you're done, you can trim your basket using your scissors. And if you have a lighter, you can burn all the sticking ends. This whole process is more visual than explanatory, so excuse my fleshless explanations. stopping by